Yo, everyone, we're back at Fiaka's 8. Last time, we had a big change in perspective, so to speak, as we are now playing as Kiryu and Co. Alongside Nurse Nanba watching on her health and Sunhee, who is here to help us enjoy ourselves. Oh, right. I thought I was just going to put get put right into it, but hey, we've got another thing to talk about. Devil agency pamphlets. They make me feel like, you know, traveling. Gee, I wonder why. Anywhere in mind? And nowhere in particular. Just like to a big waterfall. Niagara? I want to go somewhere powerful. Viral. A hundred meter waterfall. <laughs> now that'd be something special. Imagine bathing underneath a waterfall like that. A hundred meter cascade. Cleansing your mind of worldly desires. Um, I worry that might cleanse me of life itself. All right. Just a bit, maybe. Nanva's mic still sound like, like Greg Chun does a great job voicing him, but for some reason Nanva just sounds really quiet in some content. I can still hear him at least, but like, it is kind of off-putting. Nanva wants to see a big waterfall at some point. So I suggested he bathe under it, too. It's always looked pretty fun to me. What's with you? Up in a Hawaii shop up here. Alright, what do you got? Aloe Happy. Welcome to Aloe Happy Tours. How can I help you book your dream vacation? Um, we're not exactly looking for a vacation today. Do you happen to have a an aloe happy room here. We've been to your location in Hawaii and found it really useful. Oh, been to Hawaii, have you? I hope you were able to rely on us for all your travel needs. And certainly, our aloe happy room is just over there. Feel free to use it whenever you like. That's great. Thank you. Aloe happy room in Yokohama has been unlocked. New jobs! Another another photo rally. Oh, right. The employee handing out flyers mentioned that. I suppose it couldn't hurt to try. I look forward to your next Owl Happy visit. Helen in Yokohama, textures, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Cool. Another location. Let's check around. Do we just have hey, access to them? Change styles. Wow, they just give you all the ones from from frickin' uh They just give you all <laughs> Fucking care you Um Who let him cook? Oh my gosh. Bond level 40, eh? Yeah, it is kind of interesting. They just kind of give you all the ones from from seven. Without fan for Oh shit, that actually looks raw as hell on him. I still can't get over the fact that he just changes the color of his goddamn hair for that. Damn. Some of these look just very funny on him. Interesting, though. He doesn't get too many of these. I guess they removed some oh, classes just because they don't really make too much sense. I'm gonna break it down. Wait, he changed... Does everyone just change their hair for that and I just haven't even realized it? I'm not leaving until it's perfect. She can become an idol, a night queen, kunoishi, housekeeper, geodancer, tennis ace. She's... huh. We'll just keep everyone in their default yet, for the moment. I don't think I have much of a reason to change them yet. Well, we got sidetracked a bit, but we should be able to reach the batting center now. Oh, one of these again, eh? Found it. Picture perfect. Yet another. I don't know if I'm gonna end up finishing this photo rally stuff easy, but, uh... I mean, hey. Just gotta keep a good eye out, yeah? One foot in front of the other. Surely I won't be completely oblivious to 90% of these things. There we go. Take a leap on over. There we go. Namba's Wanderlust. Sated. I'd like to board a train with no destination someday. Go where it takes me. That might be fun. Wanna try it? Oh, you're in? Sure. Where should we go? Wait, I thought the point was to have no destination. Ah, that's right. Of course. Maybe I'm just more comfortable with directions. 
Nothing wrong with that. It's part of your character. Decide where you're going, and take your time getting everyone there. True. I can do that. One thing, though. You're coming with us, curious son. Things are going well. Taking a trip by train. He says he wants to just hop aboard a train and go. And when he does, he'd like to take me with him. I'd be honored. You know, what happens if we press this button as Kiryu? Oh. Oh. Hey. He's just so... It's such a different vibe from Ichi. Oh. Hey. Hey. He's so damn quiet compared to Ichi, it's kind of very funny. Kind of very. Alright. Time to just make our way up. You know, it's very funny that I'm just running around as Kiryu. You know, the man who is, uh... The man who is supposedly a soon to be on death's door. I'm just sprinting as him, despite the fact that I have a Segway. Does that make logical sense? Probably not, but hey. Likes it tried and true. I always order the same thing when I eat out. If I had Oops. to guess, Hit my mic. say I'm worried I'll make a wrong choice. Understandable. But it's good to challenge yourself. I felt the urge to try something new recently. So I ordered something called Chef's Creative Caprice. Oh, oh. impressive, curious son. Sounds funky. How was it? Uh, it was so terrible I couldn't stop shaking for an hour. Won't go back. So, in other words, I was right to be afraid. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bad habit. I've really gotten to know them. Bingo. More up and up. He always orders the same thing when he goes out. Never hurts to be safe, I guess. And we're on our way yet again. Definitely making good progress. Is there any in the area of the Komi Jewel, even? Uh, isn't Komi Jewel, like, right here? I think it's somewhere around here. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter at the moment. What does matter is the fact that I actually get his ass on this freaking Segway. He has ran enough plenty. I am very interested to see what the difference for Kiryu's content will be compared to Ichi. Because all the stuff like waving to all the people around town is a Hawaii specific thing, it looks like. Oh shit, give me out, give me out, give me out, give me out. Not my best idea. Alright, and here we are to do some uh, homers. Some homers of the Simpson variety. <laughs> I need to show them I've still got it. Better swing for the fences. Alright. Swing bat, move the cursor. Simple enough. I only have the one option, so hey. Whoa. This is very interesting. Let's go simple. It's a tutorial, might as well take it easy. Alright, here goes. Just watch. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Not what I expected, whatsoever. Shit. Shit. <laughs> you got a double, man. Why are you being like that? Why Why is it being like that? Oh, is it because I end up hitting that? Do I need to be careful? Shit. Do I need, am I supposed to hit it dead on? Uh, yes. Well, that worked. I'll take it. Okay, then. Need to be careful here. Blech. Shit. Shit. Man is really not cooking. Alright, cool. Yeah. I got two. You know, you take what you can get. Cool, I led that one. Yeah. I can, I can kind of do it. Now that I actually know how to, put, how to do it. See. Yes. Four out of ten. He's kind of depressed. Hmm. Should I redo it? Well, I don't know if the game's gonna let me, but. Damn! 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 
Holy shit. Holding up so far. Got like four levels <sighs> from, from all of them from, on that. Refreshed, actually. Feels like a lot of that stress is gone. You were right, son he. Maybe this was all I needed. <laughs> you're kidding, right? No way you're satisfied with just that. Besides, we're only on our first stop here. This is the start. Right. What's more, you're actually looking healthier by the minute. Imagine if this actually somehow helps him. It's great to see. So, what's next on our agenda? Good question. Why don't we grab a bite first and then think about it? Yeah, good idea. What are you in the mood for? Well, we could always eat and do karaoke. Ooh. Rumor says the dragon of oh, Dojima oh God. is also a master Oh, God, of no. Not in the but English version. I guess seeing is believing in the Please end. spare us. Now, I wonder where you heard that. It's been ages since I've had a real audience. Anyway, if seeing is believing, maybe I should show you how it's done. Oh, no. <laughs> not the <laughs> auto... Not the auto-tune. Spare me. Um, what's up? Namba, you could. Curious on, you ever thought of making a bucket list? Oh shit. Bucket list? Hmm. Can't say I have. Well, with the way things are right now, I think you might want to consider it. I mean, you could be spending your final hours writing down your thoughts or divvying up your stuff. But that's not the point. All right. Then what are you getting at? I need to take things more seriously? You need to take things serious about... Uh, it would be best to leave things on the happiest note possible. Serious about being to happy. Do that, a memo of how to use your time wisely might help. Sounds nice enough, but wouldn't a will be more useful in the end? No, that's the beauty of the whole thing. Unlike a bucket list, when you're writing a will, the reason you buckle down and do it is to tie up any loose ends before you go. Right, I get that. But with a bucket list, the focus is on the present. What am I doing now? Not what happens after I'm gone. True. That's what makes a bucket list so different. As you think back over the years, a lot of things will pop into your head. Huh. Missed opportunities, forgotten plans, hidden desires. So you make a list of what you want to do. And then you put yourself out there and do it. I think I get the awesome picture. Idea. It's like putting your heart's desires on paper to help you reach catharsis. That's exactly what it is. Girl, your butt is not even touching the seat. Now, curious, son. I think you ought to take some his advice. You really should be spending more time on yourself. Especially if you don't know how long you've got left. <clears throat> yeah, that is just an up in the air respect. question, isn't it? It's your body. You do what you want with it. But if you don't want to spend your last days in abject misery, I suggest you start making a better environment for yourself. Yeah. Nanba? You look so much more alive right now. And all it took was working up a good sweat. You might not want to hear this, but you don't have to hold yourself back. I'm sure there's a ton of things you'd rather be doing. Fun things. This is so awesome. Put those thoughts into words and then into action. It's never a waste of time. This is such good characterization for Nanba as well as Kiryu. Way to help you reach your best condition. For all three of them, honestly. Heck, as a former nurse, I guarantee it. All right. Maybe that is what's best. And with how you put it, the bucket list doesn't sound so bad. The question is, how much is he going to write down on it? Just make sure you help me see it through. Since you're the one roping me into it. Make sure to put well, on the you pressure. I will. Then how about we get started? Okay. Kiryu's friendships will deepen as he spends time with his buddies. Whether that be in battle, chatting around town, or through casual competition and fun minigames. So don't miss it on any opportunities to grow those bonds. Just like with Ichi Bonds. He is writing. How much has he got? That's about all I can think of for now. You can write down more as it comes to mind. Good. You got quite a bit on there. Let's see. Sing my heart out at karaoke. Right on, right on. Let's go. Drink all the best alcohol there is. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Stuff myself with Tomiko at Sushi Gin. 
Oh, a tough guy like you loves egg, huh? I know it might seem crazy coming from me, but for once I want to eat what I want without looking over my shoulder. Huh. Well said, Kiryu-san. That's what this is about. Things you always wished you'd done different or never got to try in the first place. Everything and anything that comes to mind, now's your chance to do it. Yeah. Eh, let's see what else you got here. Try out what's popular with the kids. Starting with sweets. <laughs> He's such an old man. <laughs> I thought you said whatever comes to mind. Sorry, it's just that last bit caught me a little off guard. Yeah, I shouldn't be laughing. None of us should, I, but I it's really too funny. I really wasn't trying to make fun of you. In fact, that kind of got my heart pumping. You sure about that? Listen, this really is good, though. Ah, I knew it'd be worth a shot. Let's say we get more people add to the fun. Oh, and I know just the gal we need. Oh. Yeah? curious son, how would you like to visit a cabaret club? I didn't see that anywhere on your list. You not like him or something? There's a lot you don't know about me. I was just about to write that Oh down. my god. <laughs> and it's settled. Hey, Sonny, you okay to go? <laughs> you do know women look at other women, too. I'd be there in a heartbeat. Oh, hell yeah. All Yo, right. Bicon? Then let's get over there. Soul. The bucket list has been added to Kiryu's main menu. Kiryu's awakening can be checked there. What the fuck? By checking off items on his bucket list, the dragon of Dojima's fighting style, as well as his resistance to status ailments and elemental types, will become stronger? Brawler rush and beat- Yo! While there's still time, will help restore his will to fight. Reviewing- Okay, I need to check this out. Hold up. Yeah, need more time? Head to the cabaret. We will do that. I need to check what the hell this is. Bucket list. Unfinished memoirs of a dragon. What the hell is all this? Yokohama, Kamurocho. Well, I guess that means we're going to Kamurocho, but what the fuck is all this? Unfinished business. Charity. Talk to people in the city is Kiryu. Dine out five times in the city is Kiryu. There is so much here. Everything on the menu. Oh shit, we're gonna be doing a lot down the line, aren't we? Okay, so... Jeez, there's a lot to do here. Awakening. So this is what he has instead, eh? We're getting a lot of shit here. Heat actions with nearby objects, brawler style. Bond details. It's interesting that he just gets his own, like, bond stuff. Wow. Lift heavier objects? Ooh! Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so freaking fun. God, I'm gonna... You know, with something like this, I'm gonna feel really... I'm really much gonna feel like just wanting to do everything. That's awesome. <clears throat> what the hell's that? The past never leaves you. Nostalgic sights can reignite memories of the past. The further he awakens. What's up? Ah, oh, it's just... Seeing that sign gets me a little nostalgic is all. Okay. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess it does have that look, huh? That place isn't bad, but let me take you to my favorite spot. Trust me, you won't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, take taxis to Kamurocho. Oh my god. Oh, it's time to move. This game is fucking... Holy shit, Aroni! Oh my fucking god, there's a lot. Oh no. Okay, what are we doing? Reminisce? The Cabaret Club. Among all the cities I visited, each and every Cabaret Club is just as glamorous as the last. Oh my god. You can enjoy some quality drinks while spending time with pleasant company. No wonder some folks get hooked on them. 
but the customer can only have a good time because of all the blood, sweat, and tears that go on behind the scenes. Having dabbled in the management side of things myself, I've seen firsthand how much effort it takes. <laughs> now that I'm thinking back on it, I'm actually starting to miss that kind of work. That's I should ask Nanba to join me sometime, even though he'll make me promise not to drink. Wow. One out of- oh my god. There's gonna be so many! What do you mean that's already level 2? And there's another one just up here! There's too much cool stuff we're gonna be dealing with! Oh no, this game's gonna be so f well, it already is, but this just got insanely cool. Hmm. I like the unique music for this, too. Otohime land. A soap land. Looks closed right now. Scene one reminds me of that conversation I had with Haruka all those years ago. When she asked me what a soap land was, I had no idea how to answer. But that cheeky little girl probably knew it would get me flustered and asked anyway. She definitely had me on the ropes there. I wonder how she'd react if Haruto asked her that same question. Ah, that takes me back. <laughs> Bet she'd be as flustered as I was. Wow, I, I'm less. The fact that you get like all this stuff just giving you like, like it's actually just content of Kiryu reminiscing, and that's kind of wild to me. Like it actually makes us feel like this is actually gonna be Kiryu's last game just from stuff like this. I can't tell if I'm actually gonna be satisfied with the game now if he actually ends up surviving. Oddly enough. That's one big drugstore. Should I stock up? There's never an end to the fighting, so I always end up in a drugstore one way or another. Nothing beats st stamina and taroner and toughness. The perfect trifecta to get you through a brawl. Whenever there's a tough battle ahead, you've got to line your pockets with these guys. But their names are so confusing. Because of that, I always get them mixed up. This brings back memories. That's my only complaint, though. Whoever's in charge of marketing these things, I expect to see some improvements. That's very interesting. We're going over a bunch of plot stuff, but... Like, not really plot stuff as well. Like, there's stuff unrelated. Which is real nice, just seeing casual... Casual talk of even just, like, freaking game mechanics. Or, like, not even mechanics, really, but... I mean, I guess that was technically a game mechanic in that picture, at least. Yeah, whatever. I know that the game wants me to get everything from every menu, but I kind of want to wait until we get all the entire party so we can get all of, like, the, the restaurant talks as well at the same time. Well, well. Gendako Highball Tavern. Home to some of the tastiest takoyaki in town. Looks like business is good. Every time I think of Octopus, the first thing that comes to mind is Onomichi. By pure chance, I somehow ended up helping out the locals with spearfishing. I wound up having to fight sharks and other huge sea creatures, too. Sounds like something out of a dream, but I swear it did happen. Ah, that takes me back. <laughs> Probably the last time I go spearfishing. At least for a while. Little by little. Mm. It's kind of insane how much of this there is. I definitely want to save some of it for down the road, but it's like, damn, I'm, it's tempting to do it all in one go. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to get this one over by the bridge just because it stands out in my mind. Like, we're taking this... We're taking... Uh, I don't even know if I call it the slow road. Oh, it's nice that the time of day is changing, though, casually. Like, not even having to, uh, wait for the plot to dictate it. This time it's just kind of happening. Huh. There sure are a lot of bridges in Ijincho. Ijincho. Whenever I see a bridge... Can't help but think of the countless times I'd have to throw somebody off one. That's 
nostalgic. Maybe I ought to try to make better memories while I'm still alive. That's so funny. Prettiest town, but it got some nice waterfront views with the ocean and bridges. Local puns ever get on my bad side, I know exactly where to toss them. <laughs> where do these spots ever come from? That's... It's, like, insane how much thought they put into these. That's awesome. Alright. This is, like, I don't know... If this actually is his send-off game, then I don't think they could have done it any better. This already sounds so amazing. Down here? Uh, let's open this first before we do it. Here we go. Should I open it? It opened. There we go. Expert's helmet. Might as well equip that while we're here. There we go. Anything else you need? Nope, I think we're fine. Also, let me grab this while we're already here. Court tongs. I used to come by here to fish a lot. Custom was to share your catch or trade with the other homeless. Really? Is this a good spot? I like fishing too. I even used to take a boat out for spear fishing. <laughs> Whoa, that's hard. Funny how these things work. I you were good at it. Although I did get into it with a giant octopus once. That was a difficult fight. We both had a lot of pride at stake. Here you son. Do you have one story that ends normally? No, Things not really. Going well. <laughs> if he does, then it's very rare. Back. I can say that much. Sakura River is good, a good place to fish. Reminds me of the time I brawled with that octopus. <laughs> uh, it's going to take a lot for me to keep a straight face on certain things, and this is definitely part of it. I'm going to wait before I go up. I'm just going to let y'all take your little pass. Okay, or not. They're just making a U-turn, it looks like. Actually, maybe not. Hold up. I'm cooking. Let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> Ichiban Confection. Yo, let's go. It's just nice that it's on the map there. Good lord, there's a lot of shit. Okay, we're not gonna focus on it all at once. Just as we come across it. Oh, shit. The castle keep, was it? <laughs> the homeless the homeless here sure are daring. Damn. I remember there was something like this in one of the dreams I had. One when I was no other than Sakam Sakamoto Ryo. This is fucking Ishin! I haven't even played this game! What do you mean this is connected? <laughs> So this is like a cannot. This is like Ishin is canonical in the main series as a dream that Kiryu had. You've got to be fucking me in the ass right now. <laughs> For some reason, I enlisted in this Shinsen Gumi, though I doubt the real Sakamoto Ryoma ever would. And toward the end, I was at the top of the castle keep, battling an evil mastermind. I'm glad you're not going into too many specifics, at least, because I don't even know what this is, man. But for a dream, that sunrise was damn beautiful. Strange how vivid everything was. Perhaps this is a memory from a past life. <laughs> Feels like just yesterday. Yeah, right. That'd be ridiculous. What the fuck? This game isn't real. <laughs> oh, thanks. I appreciate it. But what the fuck is this game? I... I haven't even played Ishin yet. That was just a... Uh, I, I got... The, the wind knocked out of me with that one. Door Shogi. Huh. I should stop by when I get a chance. Is that like telling me that I should... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. Shogi definitely isn't my thing, but maybe. Fancy game of Shogi when we're free? Maybe. I like Shogi. It sharpens the mind. After playing it for a while, I feel my thoughts become clearer. I didn't know it had that sort of effect on you. Sure. It gives me time to have a conversation with myself. Did I turn off the gas when I left? Crap, what about the energy bill? I get through my whole itinerary. Sounds useful for sorting out errands. 
Although I get the feeling you lose most of your games. All right. Probably not, Ron. I Two of them. To know them. Level up. Playing a game of shogi by yourself can be fun, good fun, but I guess for Nanba, it's more about getting your life together. All right, and nothing else in between us and the plot, for the moment. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up taking fifty other freaking sidewinds and just end up get getting lost for another hour. Definitely not outside the realms of possibility for me. God, I don't know if I'm ever going to freaking take care you off this class, what with everything we're gonna get from all this. I probably should. Like... Yeah, he's still... Just like everyone else, he, uh, stops getting stuff at level 30. But, I mean, hey. I can probably... I don't know. I should definitely change him to some other stuff, at least for skill inheritance. I'm perfectly fine. Alright. What do we got? Good evening. Party of three? Yeah. Anyone you're here to see? Sachan, uh, Oh, I mean, shit. Saiko-san, please. Here we right go. Away, sir. <laughs> My apologies. You have guests at table three. All right, folks. That's my cue. She's gonna get so jump scared. <laughs> Here you, son? Why, hello there. This is certainly a surprise. This is one way to get to chill during work. Uh, I see. Oh, right. No so idea. Kiyu yeah. Is going through cancer. Yeah, believe me, I was shocked when I heard the news, too. But right now, we're focused on finding ways to move through it together. Got it. So that's why you're doing a bucket list. Correct. Yeah. And with any luck, he's going to check off everything on it. Sunhi and I are helping him as best we can. Gosh, just hearing that is getting me all fired up. <laughs> I knew you were our go-to gal, Sachan. I wasn't sure if just the two of us could pull it off. Thought we might need an extra hand. Definitely will be helpful. <laughs> and that's where I come in? <laughs> you bet it is. I take it you'll join us? As if I'd pass on that. Besides, you wouldn't stand a chance without me. Damn. So sit back and enjoy the ride, Kiryu-san. I'll get you wherever you need to go. Uh, Won't I be a burden on you? Oh, please. That's the last thing you'd be. We've teamed up before, and we can do it again. When? <laughs> Not to mention, your party could use a little feminine balance, no? Huh. What a curious thing to say. Then, if we're so lacking in that department, I'd love to see what you bring to the table. Damn. Fine by me. I was looking for a challenge anyway. Oh, shit. Anyway. The girls are sizing each other up. Hey. What's the deal with those two? <laughs> They're enjoying a little bonding time, is all. Well, with that being said, I'm looking forward to tonight, Kiryu-san. Thank you. And just like that, a full party has been assembled. Right. We got Sachan on board. That was Kiryu-san himself requested. Let's go do some karaoke on the double. Is she still, like, on shift, or...? I guess not. You know, I like her I was a outfit. Surprised. I thought you might push harder for Kiryu-san to get treated, especially considering your background and all. To be honest, I wish I could. But it's like talking to a brick wall. True. Hmm? It's this Kiryu-san, remember? You can't talk him into anything he doesn't want to do. But the doctor said something that stuck with me. That a friend could change his mind down the road. Huh. So I figured I'd switch my approach. We'll have Kiryu-san try to enjoy every last moment to the fullest. Maybe that'll make him want to live more Eventually or something? Eventually he'll think, man, isn't it great to be alive? Yeah. And after that... After that, he'll change his mind and want to live? Yikitai! Sorry. I need to let Sachan in on it too, so we'll all know what this bucket list is there for. 
You'll help too, won't you? I'm not letting him go out without a fight. Yeah. Yeah, right there with you. Nice. And Kiryu himself is none the wiser. Is Ichiban doing okay? Oh shit. Well, he stirred up all kinds of trouble in Hawaii. But for him, there's nothing unusual. Right, Kiryu san? Yeah. When I first bumped into him, he was running around in handcuffs. <laughs> Doesn't change at all, does he? Nope. I take it that means you're worried about him? Not so much. I was just asking, that's all. Ouch! You say so. Oof. Kiryu is, a, or not Kiryu, Ichi and Sayako. Kind of going through it. Kind of going through it. Jeez, there's so much stuff. Re. Okay, forward march. Let's do some more reminiscing, I suppose. Let's see. Oh, shit, right. We have a new party member. That means that. Oh, no. Sayako, yep. No wonder it got all the all crowded again. Hajime no Psycho? Sayako? I don't know. We're gonna be seeing a lot of this. We're gonna be traveling around freaking uh this damned city a lot. Anyways. I won't lie. This river river is filthy. Like the river in Soten Bori. Maybe things have changed by now, but it was also pretty dirty back then. Soten Bori, the entertainment capital of the West and Kamarocha's biggest rival. The ritzy amb ambiance is really similar to Kamarocho, but it still has its own allure. It also happens to be the battleground between the Jingwan Mafia and Omi Alliance. There, I met Ryuji Goda and Kaoru for the first time. Guess you can say it was a pretty special place to me. Holy shit, we're even getting a Ryuji and Kaoru mentions? This is insane, yo! I cannot handle this. It's so peak. Plus, the food's great. <laughs> Nothing beats authentic Osaka-styled Osaka takoyaki. I remember this. It's a great city, yeah. But it won't ever top Kamurocho. He's got his pride as a Kamurocho resident. Or, you know, home... Hometown? Does that work? I guess. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up heading back there eventually during the course of this game. I mean, hey, reuse those assets all you want, man. I'm talking to the people that made this game, of course, when I say that. I got these new shoes, but... But what? Yeah, another place. We're gonna hear this music so many damn times. Hmm. This district's one of Ijencho's many symbols. A hub of different bars and pubs. That reminds me, I used to hit up one of these one of the bars in Onomichi pretty often. Everyone there was a regular, so it was hard getting to know them. Turns out they were all good people though. I wonder oh I can't wait for him. At this rate, I can definitely tell he's going to end up name-dropping, uh... What is it? Like, the, the crew from Yakuza 6, like Yuta and, and the others. Ah, that takes me back. We'd raise a glass and chat over good drinks together. I'll always be thankful to that bar for providing me with a comfortable space. There's so much. I can't get over it. Like, this is literally... Sorry for using the phrase, I do not mean this is a joke, but it is literally a drop in the bucket. Like, holy crap. Cut an anklet. White bag, flying thorns, dripping wood umbrella. Should I open it? Sure. Nice. Yes, yeah, Sa Sachan has a really nice fit, I like it a lot. Big fan. Paper plate. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, we can take a picture of it. Found it. Picture I guess it makes perfect. sense. This place stands out like a sore thumb. Makes sense that there'd be something.
Oh hey, there's another one. Picture perfect. Boom bag. That sounds like a really good thing for us to get. I should really spend some time off camera just kind of looking around one of these days. Like just taking care of the photo rally just so we can get stuff. Hmm. Hustle boutique. Looks like some kind of second second hand clothing shop. They've got some pretty fashionable clothes in stock too. Reminds me of when I picked out Mitsuo's clothes in the past. Hey, that isn't the clothing I chose. I went the American route. Thinking back on it now, it looked real sharp. Guess I do have a good sense for fashion after all. That's huh. nostalgic. If there's such a thing as reincarnation, maybe I'll work in the fashion industry in my next life. Frickin' Yakuza 3 content. Maybe I should have done that for more often for the Morning Glory kids. Dragon of Design or something? This game is insane. I love it. Like, words cannot comprehend how much I love all of this. Oh, shit. I th oh, right. We're back to using Yun. <laughs> Italian Blusana. Uh, let's go Sayako. <laughs> Thank you. Might as well. A clothing store. Ever since I joined the faction, I've adhered to their dress code every single day. I haven't really thought about choosing my own clothes. But the usual outfit I used to wear, the gray suit and the red shirt with the popped collar. I guess you could say that's m more my style. Ah. That takes me back. Now I'm starting to realize I can't wear whatever I want anymore. I'm still me, though as much as I tell myself that, sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Just this way out of my own volition. This current outfit's not bad, but I can't bring myself to say it really suits me. Huh. I don't know, I think this outfit looks real good on you, personally. But what do I know? Uh, that's everything in this area. Until we get another party member and we have to re-travel back to this place 50 times. Let me just make sure there isn't anything else I missed, like, taking pictures of. Doesn't look like it. You never know. Oh shit, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. I don't know why I'm so allergic to getting into fights, but... Oh hey, another one. That's the hardest part about doing this stuff, is I have to, like, wait. Heyo. Picture perfect. Wow, that was two for the price of one. I'll take it. Definitely get... It's That's the weirdest part, is I have to, like, keep the camera up close. I have to be, like, freaking looking up Kiryu's ass. Which is a very nice ass, by the way, but that's aside the point. Alright. Oh, boy. Time to suffer. This is it, Kiryu son. Our old Ichinsho staple. Oh shit, right! Oh fuck! I forgot! And the owner hardly ever cracks a smile. But he's a I fucking guy. forgot! It's also the only karaoke bar left. <laughs> At least I left. fucking forgot. Hey, Barkeep. Got a new customer for you. I fucking forgot. Our friend here is Taichi Suzuki. <gasps> yeah! Kashiwagi! Come on! You two, uh, know each other? Come on! <laughs> no, I... Come on! Imagine he mistook me for someone else. Nah, man. In any case, Survive's glad to have you, Suzuki-san. Uh, oh, come on. You good? Actually, I had a friend who looked oh, just shit. like Oh, shit. Here we go. Please. For a moment, I thought... I thought he had come back. Oh. My apologies, sir. Oh, come on. Hey, don't beat yourself up over Kashiwagi, it. please. Tell the truth to him. With a face like mine, this sort of thing happens all the time. <laughs> These two know. You think those two are just acting? It's hard for me to say. Sounds like a simple mix-up to me. Ah, uh, God. We came here to sing, right? Come on, please. Well, 
What are we waiting I'm for? I'm glad we get the scene at sure. least, but come on. Consider the place yours tonight. As a matter of fact, nothing would please I really me hope would they, they actually address Thank it later. You. Truly. I do like that they're doing all this, but mm. like, man, I want them to just say it. It would be so fucking awesome, dude. Oh, the auto-tune. You know, I wasn't sure how things would end up in Hawaii, but at least Kiryu-san seems to be doing better over here. Sunny, Sachan, it's all thanks to you. <laughs> I can still hear it now. No need to thank me, Nanshan. You know I'm happy to help. And I'll do everything I can for him on my end. Yeah. Call it a debt of gratitude. The worst part is it doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> right like, if I we ignore the auto-tune, I can tell he sounds good. Especially those of us from Eugene more than anything, if there's even a slight chance he'll make it, I personally want to see him get there. Just to focus on sitting. Oh shit. Because to be honest, there's too much to bear on my own. Memories of you, twisting my view. I've been a fool. They did a fucking cutscene version of Baka Mitai. That's insane. They were even... Yeah, top-notch stuff. So the rumors are true. The dragon of Dojima can carry a tune and then some. Good lord. Seems to me you guys weren't even listening. Aww. Are you kidding? Of course we were. Well, I guess I just have a voice nobody wants to hear anymore. Oh no, that no, I just <laughs> feel bad. Right, oh shit. The song is oh shit. Hmm. Now how'd that happen? Huh? If no one's taking it, I will. Who did that on purpose? We're starving dogs. No! It's a cutscene version! Well, he's clearly feeling it. Oh. I say we back him up. Give it all you got. Yeah! We're brave. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> what you give all I guess? What you give fucking. <laughs> Dead! <laughs> Why? Why does he have a fucking tamper? Maybe it makes sense, but what the fuck is this scene? No. Our friends are really dying. We're living by our own judgment. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> uh, I need to take this. Oh, it's All peak. Right. Don't be it's peak. Long. I'm totally not cringing to death. I would never. Not at Kiryu. He's peak. Kiryu son, was this a good idea or what? I'm having the time. Oh my life. god. I am too. Me too. Oh, bartender, can you fill us up? Fuck out? me. That was hilarious. Oh my god. Okay. It's me. What is oh, it? Oh, I can't have stop smiling. Is it Jungi? This better be important. I told you I'm out on the town tonight. Yeah, it's gotta be Jungi, right? I know that. But what do you expect? This is Kiryu-san I'm with, my lifelong hero. Aww. Yo, Sunny, what happened? You look pissed all of a sudden. Do I? I'm sure it's just your imagination. I take it you have business to attend to? Wait, are you for real? What is more important than living it up with Kiryu-san? I know, right? Well, it was nothing urgent. That said, I did receive some rather troubling news. Okay. The buzzkill or not, can you tell us? The Siryu clan's behaving oddly. They're recruiting and their numbers are getting bigger by the day. Huh? Wait, don't tell me that's what this is all about. You guys are the Komichul here. See, Evina, the clan captain, is cooking up something called the Second Great Dissolution. He's even rallying the former Tojo clan and all these other groups to take part. That's right. Kasuga told me about that. Huh. To build a safe haven for all the ex-Yakuza roaming about. Supposedly, that's his big objective. But if they gather too Those much, it's still worrying? Those with can swear up for a time, in exchange for stable work. 
Yeah. What about the waste it? Waste management they do down by the docks is one example. You could almost say it's an expansion of what Kasuga was doing with Hello Work. What the heck? So you knew all along. So what's the thing the is, problem? some of those ex Yakuza joining up with the Seiryu, they had already gotten their lives back together. Hmm. And it's not just a handful. I'm talking by the hundred. That's true. What? Well, why would that happen? If they were able to find jobs and all, what would even make the Seiryu clan appealing? Well, whatever's going on, I'm guessing Ebina's big plan is nothing more than a smokescreen for something else. Huh. And what his real goals are remain a mystery. You really think that's accurate? Honestly, I'm a little insulted. You're talking to the brain behind the Komi Jewel here. Whoops. Well, sure, but still, there could be some other factors at play. Maybe those Yakuza went clean only to realize the rat race was just as dirty above ground. True. I can't account for details on every single situation out there. But it's the overall pattern of movement that concerns me. The Seiryu clan's also pulling their waste operation out of Yokohama, and they're pulling right into Hawaii. Huh. Hawaii? Yep. All their fresh recruits are packing their bags and heading overseas as we speak. What the hell? You were there just recently, as I recall. Could this be a mere coincidence? Or maybe there's a deeper connection here. Hmm. What is it with that place? Why is everything going down there at once? Does anyone in the Seiryu clan have some sort of Hawaiian affiliation? Actually, think about why Kasuga is there in the first place. Oh, that's right. It was Sawashiro. Huh. Not only was he former captain, he was Arakawa's right-hand man. That's true. What's more, he kept the secret that Akane-san's been alive all this time. And now he's risen to the top of the Seiryu clan, right next to Ebina. Then it looks like I've got something to add to that bucket list. Oh boy. Make Sawashiro tell us what he knows. That's one way to use a bucket list. Seiryu clan HQ's not far from here, right? Well then. It's not, but as of now, most of their officers are gone, including Sawashiro. They started a branch office about a week ago to accommodate all the new recruits. If you want to pay them a visit, I can take you over there tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. A lot happened tonight. I should head back to Kasuga's apartment. I love that the bonds are just naturally increasing like this. It's kind of really awesome. What the hell? Why are you here? <sighs> Damn punks. Hmm? Hmm. Uh -oh. oh, it's you, Hiro-san. How's it going? You know each other? Yeah, this one's Hiro-san. Kasuga used to pitch in for him. Freaking beautiful Joe over here. I see. Are you all right? Yes, I am now. Thank you. Sorry about that. Let me introduce myself. Name's Hero, president of Part Time Hero Incorporated. We'll get you a hero, or my name's not Hero. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> um, Suzuki. I haven't heard of part-time hero before. Hi. Well, it's a service that dispatches heroes across the city to anyone who might be in need. Our heroes, of course, are part-timers who believe in what we do. <sighs> Time was, we, we dealt with practically everything, from body, bodyguarding to herding cats. We've been a bit, uh, short-staffed lately, though. So we've pivoted our focus to our part-time rescue division. Part-time rescue, huh? Hi. There's an epidemic out there of normal folks being flagrantly extorted and harassed. We aim to provide them with protection. Any hero who successfully resolves such a situation earns rewards from us. The more you help, the more you're compensated. Hey, Suzuki-san, would you like to register with us? Like I said, we could definitely use more muscle. Kasuga-san was able to do a lot of good and earn himself a sizable chunk of change when he was helping out. Ah part-time work that's that helps other people in danger huh it's a normal way to make money I suppose all right 
if it was good enough for Kasuga. Whoa, really? You're saying yes? Uh, mm -hmm. Excellent. I look forward to working with you. Uh, da -ba -ba -ba. People being harassed, helping them out will earn progress and... Ooh, progress Kiryu's Awakening. Okay. Need of Rescue will have the part-time hero icon above their heads. We currently operate in both Ijincho and Kamurocho. For whatever reason, those are the two biggest hotbeds of trouble. If you start helping out, we'll begin rewarding you immediately. Thank you. Thank you. Bonatha's team has enhanced the skills. Knockback chain attacks are now stronger. Oh, jeez. Oh, we've already got some stuff here. Whoa. Okay. Right. Now I see these things on the map. I guess I can go take care of one of them. Oh, wow. Definitely gives us a lot. Keep walking and we'll kill you. Well, they have... We have bond stuff available as well, but, uh... I don't know if we want to take care of that quite yet. That is a bit too... A bit too much for the moment. Adios. Bombs away. Essence of sweeping. Check it. There we go. Right. Sayako. Huh. Here I am. Oh my gosh. Oh damn, and a kick after? That's cool. Got knocked down. That's fine. For the most part. Oh, nice. They had him with something. Man just flew back violently in a cold. There we go. Perfect guard. Got thrown off a bit by the timing on that. The freaking kick. What a girl boss. Uh-oh. In the back. Not the best. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Okay. Fair enough. Maybe I should have waited on some... Okay. Too late, too late, too late. There we go. Sorry to drag my feet. Hit him with all this. Bye bye. I always forget about style changing with Kiryu. It's a very obvious thing, but I just haven't been. Sheesh. The follow up. All right, we've got all this. You want to try this on to I mean, you're weak to it. Might as well. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh shit! Let's go. You picked the wrong opponent. Learning more every day. Moving up in the world. There we go. There's more where this came from. There we go. Slow but steady progress. We take those. So I could do all of this right now, but we are already pretty far into all of this, I would say. Huh. Good lord. Do you even lift? Oh my god, I'm going to go insane. I've probably already gone insane, frankly. This map is so fucking insane right now, dude. Words cannot describe all the shit we have going on. I'm definitely gonna do it all on camera because, like, most of it is just freaking awesome conversations and, like, me just reacting to insane stuff that comes back in this game, and it's all amazing. So, I'm trying to figure out how this, how this split up, this district. Like, this is the area we need to take care of, yeah? So, I need to... up to this bridge... I'll avoid interacting with these until it's on camera. Sorry, I just kind of want to take care of all of the photo rally stuff in this area. So I'm going to explore a bit and take care of that off camera. But as far as everything else, I'm going to leave that for next time. 
So yeah, I've been enjoying this so much. And I can already tell that I am going to enjoy it even more as we keep going. All this shit up here, everything. Good lord, this map is filled to the brim with stuff to do. And I am so damn excited to do more. But yeah, for now, we're going to call things here. Amazing time and amazing times in the future. Thank you very much for watching. And adios, ciao, and bye-bye. Signing off until next time. Ja, matane.